Who's your best friend on campus? Oh, wow. Anyone who wants popcorn, number one. It's <laughs> my big debut. Are you just in here for the free popcorn? Nah, I'm here for this bomb ass interview. <laughs> the story of how somebody got punched in your car. Follow us on TikTok or Instagram at RIT underscore SG. I found the RIT student government office and a whole bunch of people were just hanging out in there. And they all had this look on their face of like, you can come in here if you want. So I did. And it was awesome. And it does smell so good. I can have a little bit, just like a little, like a, thank you so much, appreciate it. Would anybody be up to like talk to me for a couple minutes or? Yes. <laughs> I didn't even finish my sentence, I love it. It's my big debut. Yeah, make you famous. What's your name? My name is Morgan Rosenberg. All right, Morgan, and what do you do here at RIT? Um, I do a lot of stuff. I'm in the School of Individualized Study. Uh, best program here, by the way. Stop it, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so the School of Individualized Study, people... <laughs> Sorry, he's laughing at me. This guy, yeah, this guy's <laughs> Get out of here. Bye, Chris. I can't with him. Oh, the School of Individualized Study is a program here where kids can kind of make their own major. So I'll use myself as an example. You know, I was super interested in journalism, but I knew I didn't want to write about news. So I came to SOIS and I decided to do pop culture journalism. I'd like to be a film critic or something like that. So that's what I'm a part of here. And I'm in the student government as the senator for that school. We have a senator for each of the colleges, as well as representative student organizations, cabinet members, and committee chairs. And we all basically work together to spread the students' needs to faculty and staff and the president, the provost, all that special stuff. Hi, I'm Chris Fry. I'm a fourth year marketing and political science double major here at RIT. So that doesn't seem to me like the typical major of RIT. So why, why would you come to RIT for that? And what do you like about your program here? So I originally wanted to do marketing as a career. I uh, started liking it a little bit when I did a club in high school. Um, and then I started getting into the political scene. So marketing is kind of my backup corporate degree if the political science stuff doesn't work out. But RIT is a great combination with a lot of the technology. So I currently work over at the, in the Office of Government and Community Relations, which has definitely exposed me to politics and the connection between higher education. Um, and you make a lot of good connections over there. Who's your best friend on campus? Oh, wow. I'm gonna hurt people's feelings if I am. Do you wanna pass on that? No, I'll, I'll give you my top three. Um, okay. One of them's actually outside. He's Dylan is my roommate. Um, and then my other one is Matt. And then my other best friend would be uh, Cassie Arugian, and she was the first friend I ever had here on campus. Um, my sister actually introduced us. I know they're probably making faces because it's like sweet, but they totally, um, they totally are. I've made so many friends here. Obviously, SG's definitely been a part of that. So one time, I was out at this place on a Friday night. Now in Rochester, don't go out to the city on Friday nights. Bad idea. I'm out, I get picked up in this car. I go in the trunk because I'm gonna be riding in the trunk that night as, as some college students do. How do you decide who gets to ride in the trunk? Oh, it's whoever volunteers. If if it's if nobody volunteers, that is my responsibility. And all of a sudden, I just hear this wild, crazy yelling about how somebody got punched in the front seat. I'm like, yo, what's going on? Hi, my name is Samantha Gensler. I study interior design. I'm also the student government vice president this year. We get the engineers, the art majors, to try and uh, create projects that will hopefully better the environments that we have. I'm actually a senior right now working on my capstone project. And mine is currently on the design impacts on patient outlook look in long-term post-operative hospital units. Any advice for new students coming onto Ooh. campus? <laughs> okay, um, my advice for new students is definitely put yourself out there in situations you wouldn't expect to be in. But putting yourself out there and doing those activities that you aren't really sure of can definitely help change your entire experience here. Anyway, and all of a sudden I just see this guy get out, he's like bleeding. Wait, I don't think we got to the point of why the kid got punched. Apparently he smiled at a guy the wrong way. He was just like, the kid <laughs> smiled at him, the window was down, and then the person was like on the sidewalk and he's like, why are you looking at me funny? And they came up and punched him. Dan Talbot, I'm a uh, fourth year mechanical engineering technology major. I'm also in student government as the uh, housing and dining chair. Everything from, you know, your regular dining halls on campus like uh, Gracie's or Dining Commons or Brick City, Ritz, to more specialized food options like Salsaritas, which serves Mexican food, Peruvian chicken in here. What's like the biggest issue that you're trying to solve right now? Uh, accessibility for our deaf students. A lot of our dining areas have areas of improvement uh, for accessibility, so I'm going to be working with our cross-registered senator and our future anti-ID senator to uh, explore options so that all the staff that we have at our dining facilities are trained in at least some form of ASL. He drives away like one block around the corner, right? That's the thing that I still don't get is why we only drove one block and created like no distance. Makes no sense. He came from a different school. 
He had to go to the ER and then drive back all the way to Niagara from here, which is like an hour and a half that night. <laughs> Chris Brown Loyal was playing at the time. Every, every time we hear that song, <laughs> every time we hear that song, we uh, we pour out, we pour out, we pour out a little bit of stuff just so, uh, just in honor of our boy Dustin who got punched to that song. That's one of the crazier things that has happened. Dude, your car is a dangerous place, but pe people getting punched, people getting taken to DP Doe. <laughs> Tell us what's up, Jake. I'm uh, Jake Long. I'm a senator uh, for the College of Engineering Technology. So what do you like about your programs in particular? The labs that we do from like surveying and learning how to make concrete and like what goes into it. I, I love it all. So how did you choose RIT in the first place? I like to say I was kind of forced into it. My aunt works here and um, I've always gotten like RIT merch since I was a kid. So I've always kind of been like pushed that way. And it just so happens that RIT is a really good school for civil engineering. Anything else you want to share? RIT is probably one of the nicest college campuses like people wise like I was out walking one day and uh, at nighttime and these guys had a telescope and they were looking at Saturn I'm like oh what are you guys looking at we just had a whole conversation about uh, looking at the stars and such thanks a lot Jake yep thank you yeah if you are cool you go to insomnia DP Doe is is not a good place DP Doe is a bad place up oh, Zelig we know what they are we know what they are can I like rebuke that on camera yeah yes of course here's the thing here yeah. Wait, what is this? Okay. Okay, okay. Here's the debate. Here's the debate. DP Doe is much better. They got they got cookies at DP Doe, first of all. They got ice cream. They got breadsticks. They got what are they called? Cannolis? I eat there four times a week and I'm I, broke I, because of DP I, Doe's because I love it so much. Here's the deal though. You are out at night, 2 a.m. or something. You are hungry. However, do you want a do you want a snack or do you want a full meal? I don't want a full meal at 2 a.m. Time out, time out. DP Doe has a much longer line, and you oh, get cookies and ice cream. Oh, my brother, my brother in Christ. You, you get in and out. Forgetting. You got you got to help with the you got to preemptively cure the hangover. You see what I'm saying, young bull? No. You know, on top no, of that, drink water. You're complaining about the line, and you're complaining about the line. But to me, that's the experience. It's dinner with a show. Okay. You've got some beautiful, classy clientele at DP Doe at 2 a.m. Trust. Me. It's great every time you go. Director of marketing. Director of marketing yes. for the student government? Yes, I am. Okay. Well, yeah, then we're practically cousins. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so go ahead and uh, introduce yourself. Yeah, so my name is Zella Goodman Hoffman. I am a third year visual media photography major. I also am double minoring in marketing and political science, and I am the director of marketing for student government here on campus. So I have a videographer, a photographer, graphic designer, and then a social media content creator and manager. And so we basically just make content. Uh, people can make design requests for certain things they have going on. We do fun videos, we make TikToks, Reels. Follow us on TikTok or Instagram at RIT underscore SG, sort of just making fun content to show that we're students too and that we can have a good time and you sort of want to relate to the student body. What's your been your most successful TikTok for student government? So we actually just made our first TikTok yesterday. Oh, okay, that's um, the one then. In terms of reels though, we, we had uh, a reel of our president Aditya doing a bottle flip onto my hat and that got like 10,000 views. Oh. So that was pretty good. That was by far That's the most, solid. most viewed video on the page. That's more than any of mine. Uh, my name's Aditya, or Addy. Uh, I'm a fourth year computer science student here. This is my final year. Can't believe it. And I'm this year's student government president. We're so really excited. What are like the big plans for the student government this year? Uh, yeah, so alongside my vice president, uh, Sam, we ran under like a five pillar platform centered around accessibility, activities, mental health support, a connected student body, and career and professional services. What's like the balance between like, say, coursework and, you know, actual studies and then these kinds of other things that you do on the side? Yeah, uh, I would say the average person like is able to manage it really, really well with, you know, like on average, like a 14 to 15 credit course load with being involved in a few activities on campus. I took some classes over the summer to lighten the load up a little bit because I just want to be a little more involved in the organization this year. Who do you think would be a good fit for like student government? If somebody wanted to come in here and join you guys? Anyone who wants popcorn, number one. If you, if <laughs> that's you, if how you I got like, in here. If you like popcorn, that's number one. Uh, really, the other two criteria are if you are an advocate and want to be an advocate for anyone, whether that's, you know, your specific constituency or the school as a whole, right? There's roles for you and for everyone. And the other one is just passion. You need to be passionate about 
being a student and the student experience at the school, without passion, it's not worth it. Thank you so much. Is there any way you want to plug how people can get in touch with you guys? Or yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you're interested in, if you go to RIT, number one, fill out a pop print, and uh, if you don't go to RIT, follow us on Instagram at RIT underscore SG. And TikTok. And, we have and TikTok. A phone we have a phone. We have a phone, phone number. Slide into the DMs. <laughs> yeah. If you don't go to RIT, please don't call us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think we leave it right there. That's beautiful, guys. <laughs>